CKNW AM 980, The World Today, with Sean Leslie, Tuesday, October 29, 2013, 516 well, the BC PM. The government has announced it is going to consult on uh, the wording of an apology to Chinese Canadians for historical wrongs. However, they say that apology will not include financial compensation. So how is this going over? Joined now by Sid Chow Tan, representing the head tax families of Canada. Sid, I, hi, how are you today? I'm fine, thanks, Sean. How are you? Good. How did you react to this news today? Well, I, I, I thought it was really uh, quite surprising. You know, you, here you have a government that says they want to engage in consultations, and then they break the consultation process. I mean, let's let's really get serious about this. Uh, this was a grave injustice and it's not really historic. There are still surviving affected people that suffered under this legislation over 62 years. So um, I, I say boo on the government for rigging the consultations. Well, did the federal government not uh, uh, provide some compensation, Sid? Yes, they did, in fact, and, and it's appreciated. It was a good first step. They basically redressed to the surviving head taxpayers and spouses of, uh, uh, surviving spouses of deceased head taxpayers, and they gave them $20,000 each. Uh, there were 785 claimants across Canada. That represents less than 1% of all the families that paid the head tax. And we're not talking about head tax here anymore. We're talking about the Exclusion Act. The Exclusion Act came in, in, in 1923. We should think of the head tax essentially as a tax grab. Remember, there was no income tax or anything. So in the terms of the head tax, that was actually a refund of an unjust tax. What we are talking about during exclusion from 1923 to 1947 is a law that forbade Chinese people coming to Canada based on racism and only the Chinese. So... Uh, what we have is a bunch of people who were married in Canada, couldn't bring their wives to Canada. We have a bunch of sons and daughters who never met their fathers. This was not repealed until 1947 when the Chinese finally got the right to vote and become fully participating citizens of Canada. And we do this not because of the financial compensation and all this, but it should be said that the British Columbia government has profited from racism, and that money is still in its treasury. So how can they start a consultation process that says we're not going to deal with that? So how much money are we talking about? What would be appropriate in your mindset? Um, I don't know. That's up to the seniors, right? Like, we need to have a process with the seniors as well, the affected seniors, and we've been working with them for almost 30 years. And uh, I've become a senior in that process. So, but uh, I, I don't know what the dollar figures would be. But I mean, what what do you talk about them? The government doesn't want to talk about them. Well, yeah, so that's they, a rigged process. So, so is this apology going to do anything then to uh, to address these issues uh, when it, whenever it does actually make its way to the legislature? Well, my understanding of an apology is that it is an acknowledgement of wrongdoing. Well, certainly the government's willing to do that. And an apology should be redemptive to the giver. Uh, I think it would be if it was accepted. But to be accepted, it needs to be healing to the recipient. And there's got to be issues of restorative justice. And what would that restorative justice look like? How about a symbolic return of the ill-gotten gains? A symbolic return. Uh, I think uh, the B.C. Treasury was enriched unjustly enriched by about $9 million at the time. I, I don't know how much money that would be, but put it this way. It cost $22 million to build the Trans-Canada Railway. <laughs> so, I mean, we're talking about what was a ton of money in that time. We're looking for a symbolic but meaningful return. That would have something to do in terms of restorative justice, don't you think? Sid, i got to leave it there for time. Good to talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sid Chowtan, he's uh, representing the Head Tax Families of Canada, speaking to us here in the world today.